Good day Aquarius and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly reading for March 18th to the 24th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, oh, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? King of Clubs. Queen of Diamonds. Jack of Spades. And the Ten of Clubs. Ooh. Yeah, quite a bit going on here. So your general energy is the Ten of Clubs. You're fed up with a burden. There's a burden that you have going on, and you're fed up with it. You're at your end's rope, and uh, the cards say that the end is near. It's not give up because you might be wanting to give into this burden, uh, but the cards say don't, don't give in, don't give up. Uh, a lot of times, you know, when it comes to burdens, uh, a lot of times there are ways for us ourselves to get ourselves out of the said burden uh just sometimes we don't see it you know so maybe you should uh take some time this week and really look at the burden analyze the burden and see if there isn't some way uh that you can get the burden out of your life that you can get rid of the burden uh yourself uh at the beginning of the week uh, looks like you're going to be accompanied by a king of men. Uh, this doesn't have to be a man. It can be a woman. Uh, but this person is, you know, uh, loyal and selfless and uh, fatherly. So this would be somebody that you would go to for advice and whatnot in life. Maybe advice about the burden. You know, maybe that's what you need to do is you need to look for advice about the burden uh, by somebody that you uh, see fatherly. Um in the middle of the week ah there's somebody that's wicked jealous of you and they are a a master manipulator they are somebody that can manipulate you uh very easily they're very good at manipulation and they could fool you they can fool you in a lot of ways they can fool you into believing that they care they can fool you into uh believing that you should be a certain way or whatever uh, they could they could fool you into believing that you need to take on this burden like it's your your duty to take on this burden. Uh, this person's a home wrecker, and when I say that, I don't just mean coming for your uh, you know significant other other or whatever. This can this means like they want to wreck you. They want to wreck your mind. They want to wreck your work. They want to wreck uh, your plans. They want to wreck your uh, relationship with your family, your kids, whatever. They want to just wreck your world. They don't want you to fucking be happy, period. And they will manipulate you. So be very careful uh, of who you listen to right now because this person is a very uh, big manipulator. This is somebody that can uh, get under your skin, push your buttons, and make you think that you're at fault and not them, you know. Uh, at the end of the week, you need to be the rebel. You need to let out your rebel yell. All missions are go. Any mission is possible. Anything that you're wanting to do. A lot of times this is uh, political. Uh, so, but I mean, if you're not political, you know, but a lot of times if you are political, uh, this is a call for you to uh, take your political stand as a rebel uh, and, and speak your mind and whatnot. But uh, if you're not political, you know, uh, this can be you being the rebel, being strong, sturdy, uh, and yelling out, you know, for this burden to go the fuck away, you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's how I feel this is, is that this is telling you to be the rebel and, and learn who this home wrecker is and get rid of them. Uh, learn what it is that you can do, uh, to remove this burden. And, uh, I would definitely look into somebody that's fatherly and selfless, somebody that you know, uh, is going to steer you right. Uh, to lead you into this rebel energy uh, so that you can get rid of this burden. Let's go ahead and see what the tarot cards have to say. Universe speak. 
Spirit's Guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Hmm, yeah. Uh, you got the uh, Nine of Swords. See this? Whatever this burden is, it's, it's really causing you some issues. It really is. It's causing you nightmares, worries, fear, all that stuff. It's just causing you to not have sleep. It's just really you know coming down on you and this this home wrecker i think they want to keep you there they want to keep you in this burden they want to keep you uh being tired and being stressed and all that good stuff so yes see if you can't get rid of this burden and be careful somebody's trying to make you think that you uh have to have this burden like this burden really is yours but it's really not your burden um and look for the fatherly figure, the selfless, loyal person uh, to help you become the rebel so you can take your life back. Uh, because this burden, it, I think it's just really, really damaging you horribly. So there you go. It's a short read, but I don't have much more to tell you except that try to find your way out of this burden. Don't give into it. If you give into it, this is it. This is all you're going to have. Stress, nightmares, worries, you know, because it's all on you. It's a burden. And this person wants you to believe that it is. But you got a king of men to help you, that to make you see that you need to be the rebel. That's the only way this is going to stop. If you be the rebel and stop this burden and remove this home wrecker from your life. So I hope that it resonates and helps in some way. Um,. And if it does, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.